and back just in time I think because I don't know if I had that on repeat I forgot to throw this away oh god I didn't miss I didn't miss thank you son okay so we're gonna need the latex we've got that we're also gonna need the tape for reasons. God. Why does tape gotta be so sticky and attract all kinds of cat hair and dust? Um okay. Fresh paper towel. I feel like I'm I'm just realizing too this is like two cups. Well I guess that's just how it is now. It's fine. Okay. Well, let's clean off the nails. Oh and turn this off. We are, in fact, back. Zoom in a bit. Oh, and get out the tutorial camera. So many things to remember when I haven't when I haven't streamed. It's like what? There's so many fucking moving pieces to this. Okay. Sorry for the wiggles. Okay. So I'm cleaning my nails with 100% acetone. You can use regular polish remover or alcohol as you prefer. But of course, whatever kind of base coat you're using adheres better to a clean dry nail. Get the underside too, just a bit. Helps for tip wrapping. Helps especially if you're doing like the full super duper wrap, like I do if I use regular base coat, which I swear is like, I feel so spoiled when I use regular base coat. Like, oh my God, like my nail polish isn't even chipping. A serious like full week long manicure it doesn't accidentally peel off and yet I love my peelies I, don't, I still haven't really quite decided like is this like the colors are Halloween but the colors are, are the the colors are kind of Halloween but the design is kind of autumn like it's not exactly leafy it's more flowery kind of almost like a mum maybe that's what it's reminding me of I'm getting mum vibes do people do people know what mums are I hope yeah yeah that's that's a hundred percent it especially because I went with such very narrow petals Okay, camera. You gonna be good camera today? I hope. Are we? Yeah, this is, this is fine. And let's get you guys a little bit more. There. Mm. There. <clears throat> starting off with clean dry nails we're going to begin with a base coat I'm using ready for takeoff which is a peel off base and you can use whichever is your personal favorite <clears throat> yeah I mean I don't consider myself a super like a super gardener I've got my berries I appreciate having like flowers and plants in the yard, but I like like a low maintenance garden. I thought about making another like bouquet come in and feature on Beanie's cam, but 
I'm not like super thrilled with what we have blooming right now. It's like I'm looking around and seeing what's blooming in other people's yards and like maybe I should get some of that. Okay. My staining is almost grown out finally. Although I did get some. Can you guys see on the middle nail there? It's like a jagged dark spot. There, at that angle you can kind of see it. The orange stained. Um, so there's some kind of unevenly placed staining on my nails depending on where the orange zigzag was on each nail. I don't remember the orange staining when I used it for the Monarch Butterfly gradient. Maybe I'm just not recalling, but I was kind of surprised. The other weird staining, which I, if I recall, was from another, or from a yellow, which was also a Zoya, is almost grown out, though. Okay. Yeah, bleeding hearts are beautiful. We have some pink ones and some white ones. I don't usually pick them because they're kind of delicate. They're not really like bouquet flowers. They're pretty to look out outside. Pansies are not super my favorite, but I can appreciate them. Especially like the ones that are like super cute. Like, there's a lot of different, like, varieties of pansies. There. See on the middle nail? That, that ghost of a zigzag. Not as bad on this hand, actually. I can see it in person, but it's not too much showing up on camera okay so what is this again stoked to be soaked and liquid leather we, we almost dry here almost almost yeah like little fairy faces <clears throat> and you don't want to um apply you start like start your manicure um before <clears throat> you're ready for takeoff is fully dry because it gets weird like it gets real glommy i don't know i've i've done it a couple times and it was literally like what is wrong and then i realized i was like the base coat isn't dry like some base coats you can get away with it ready for takeoff you really have to kind of wait but you can see can you tell how it's like not quite as shiny looking like it's not exactly matte but you can tell you can eyeball when it's dry <clears throat> okay <clears throat> camera there we go the colors that I'll be using today are both from China glaze the orange is stoked to be soaked and I'll be using that as my base color as well as in the marble and the black is liquid leather uh, once I have my blah, 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 blah. I fumbled my tongue there is that, is that a phrase that I can say you know what I mean Let's try that again. I did not like that take. <clears throat> the colors that we're going to be using today are both from China Glaze. This orange is stoked to be soaked, and I'll be using this as my base color as well as in the water marble. And the black is liquid leather. Once I have my base color applied, I'll be protecting around my nails with liquid latex as well as tape.
I feel like this is such a weird consistency polish. Like it's very workable, but it's, I don't know. Runny, but almost stretchy, is that weird? Maybe runny isn't quite the right, right word. And I'm trying to be neat just because, you know, we're trying to be neat when we can. But, of course, it doesn't really matter because we will need to do cleanup. Not, not so OP with the protection that I can get away without cleanup. I think I've talked about that before. How <laughs> that, like, really impresses me when people are able to get everything so neat and close that you actually don't have to clean up when you remove your protection. <clears throat> I uh I don't have very good luck with ready for takeoff and gel. That's why it what actually initially got me to try the Madame Glam. Hey Luke. Hope you're doing well. We are uh, just getting started on the actual nail art. And I'm hoping it goes well. I need some beautiful nails in my life. I need I need something good in my life right about now. The nails are it. Okay. Yeah, I think this orange is really nice. Like it doesn't just remind me of pumpkins, it reminds me of like gourds and squash in general. Like the inside of a, uh, what do I call it? butternut squashes? I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan of squash. I like squash. I like sweet potato. I wonder if you could make like squash fries or if they'd be too wet. I mean, squash and sweet potato are kind of similar, but then again, not really. <clears throat> chores and adulting stormy I, I wonder if that's the same storm we're supposed to get it's either later tonight or tomorrow this is actually a really nice color probably just says do a second coat of this and like add a hollow top coat and like go take a fucking nap <laughs> but that feels like it would kind of be a cop out so let's not do that let's finish a manicure what a fucking concept <clears throat> in the tape dispenser over here. Yeah, my only thing with storms this time of year is like it's very unpleasant to get wet if it's chilly. I think. Yeah, and that too. It's like you can't work in the garden or the yard if it's too wet outside. It's like go. I feel like this is just a really nice color. Not necessarily what you would expect. Um, looking at the bottle um redder a little bit darker um like they're not completely like oh my god but it's like it's definitely one where it's a little bit of a surprise to me more dramatic in real life than it is on camera too i will say um okay so let's get this open Time for taping and time for uh, latexing. Is that can I can I make that a verb? Latexing. Got to get that latexing done. <laughs> oh, all right. So we just go like straight up one side, around the tip, and then straight down the other side, and then 
with the latex we go nicely around the curve of the cuticle we kind of meet up with both sides uh, of the tape not too thick not too thin we want a nice peel out of this and then repeat oof my nails are so short right now that had a little bit of fuzz on it but I think it's gonna be okay mm. Oh, my hands are shaky. I wonder if it's stress or tired shaky. How, how do you tell? Do we have one of our doctor viewers in the house? How can I tell why my hands are shaking? Mm. Tape is almost easier to get really close to your sidewalls than latex for me. I guess because my sidewalls are for the most part pretty straight so the tape is just like matches. Okay, almost done here. That's too big for this. That's fine. Ooh, I need to remind myself to think about my thumbs again because I didn't. I stopped thinking about them, but I hadn't come to a conclusion yet. Um, dipping dipping my thumbs together is a thing. Um, with a design like this, where it's like the flower, though. Like when I dip my thumbs together, they don't go like symmetrically together. If that makes sense, they kind of go adjacent to each other that doesn't make sense maybe it does I'll show you what I mean in just a second and not the best angle probably for the thumb but you know how that goes here's the thumb poor thumb not poor little right thumb just poor little left thumb Still poor thumb. Oh goodness. Goodness. Yo, goodness. 13. Hello. Thank you so much for the support. 13 months with the Prime. And if you have Amazon Prime, no, you guys all know that by now, I think. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Oh. Buttspot also hopes you're doing well. So. For this, I'm planning to dip pinky and ring, um, index and, and middle, and then we've got the thumb here, which I mean, I've prepped up. We either have to dip the thumb individually, because we're going with the flower pattern. I mean, I could like just add it in there on one of these, but we'd probably get kind of just a random section of the cup. Um, if I dip it with my other thumb, like there is a way where I can like dip them like this it's very awkward and very difficult the easier way is to dip them like this but then you see we've got the outside edge next to the inside edge like that so like this is the way to do it like symmetrically I don't know like it's easier it's easy to hold your thumbs together like this but how do you dip them like that I can't like so to dip them I gotta like it's, I don't know. So that's, that's a thing we have to decide. I'm kind of leaning toward maybe just dipping them individually and not trying to cheap out, so to speak, on like one more freaking extra dip. Because it would just, it would just, it would be easier. <laughs> Plus then we'd really be able to like showcase the ombre effect that we're, we're hoping is consistent. We're hoping like hell is consistent. For those of you just joining us, we uh, we have discovered at a 12 drop water marble bullseye that we get quite a bit of bleeding on the interior rings, which I like. And so we're going for that and we're gonna hope that it's consistent-ish. I mean, it's not going to be the same every time. It's not. I accept that. 
I hereby solemnly swear that I will not be mad at my water marble for not being consistent. <laughs> but that's what we're that's what we're aiming for. <clears throat> So, I'm nervous. You guys, why did I decide to do this? I'm so stressed out. Why am I adding more stress by doing water marble? Water marble of all things. Okay, no, it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, zoom you guys out. Um, more, more zoom out. Like that. Okay, so... We're gonna need orange. We're gonna need to open up the black. The least objectionable stress. Amethyst, that makes too much sense. I would like to say that makes way too fucking much sense. <clears throat> I think we should clean this. We probably should clean this. We, tr we transferred this over from the other cup we were practicing in. So it's not fully clean water. Please, please go to the edge. There we go. The cup won't be pristine anymore, but that's okay. So Luke, Luke, are you still are you still here? If you're lurking, you don't have to answer. But are you racing tonight? I'm curious. Other viewers may also be curious. There we go. Now we should have a nice clean, a nice clean, uh, oh, we're going to need some tweezers, aren't we? Let's probably these. Um, you guys need maybe a little bit like that. Is that good? We're, of course, catering to the tutorial camera for a little bit. Because YouTube. Did I tell you guys that I think I've decided what I'm doing for my anniversary, but it requires a lot of editing and I'm not sure how I feel about that. <clears throat> okay. Water, please stop. Please stop shaking. As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Four. Six. Eight. So at 12 drops, this bullseye is actually a little bit overloaded. You can see those center drops don't quite want to spread. And that's also going to lead to a little bit of bleeding between the colors, which I'm actually counting on. It's intentionally a part of my design, so if the colors don't bleed together, I'm actually going to be rather upset. But I'm just going to go ahead and draw in all the petals. Like we've got a wonky spread on the side. I'm so nervous. The center doesn't look like it's... The center does not look like it's bleeding. But it might be on the underside. Might have to wait to see for sure until we dip. The stress, you guys. <clears throat> mm. 
it's ended up really weird shaped. I'm going to be dipping two nails and I'm trying to decide if I want to go kind of like the longer way or the wider way on my nails or somewhere kind of in between. I think uh, we'll just go for it like this. Line up my nails, one on each half of the flower, and then go ahead and dip in. With my orange stick, I'm going to clean up that excess polish around the edges and the back and then I'm going to slowly pull my nails out and there's the water marble with not as quite as much bleeding as in my testing but still enough that I think it is accenting the design going to use a pair of tweezers just grab hold of the tape on one side here and then peel it all off and once I've got this off I'm gonna go ahead and marble the rest of my nails I'm I'm neither thrilled nor disappointed I'm about I guess neutral on these I don't know if that was a very good shot of the cleanup either, honestly. They're okay. They're okay. They're not as bleedy as the testing. We'll need to improvise. Wait a minute, whoa. Is Pancakes uh, unavailable to be DMing us? Is it considered a DM if it's not done a uh, uh, D and D? <laughs> Can we still call him that? For six eight. Ten, twelve. Okay. Mm. I I feel like again. Like, I'm not getting very much bleeding here. Like, what is even up with that? I was getting so much in all the testing. Maybe I added too much water. Or too much higher up in the cup. Slightly larger bullseye. Equals less bleeding. I think this one might go on my thumb. Wait, do I have two more strokes here? I think I do. Here and here. Um. I want to dip my thumb fuck how do I want to dip my thumb like that I don't know if that's good at all I don't know little there's a little bit of bleeding there so frustrating I mean like I said technically bleeding is bad but when you want it to happen and then it's like suddenly not happening consistently it's 
super irritating. Oh, yes, I did know it was her birthday because she had birthday stream. But yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I don't remember her saying anything about race night during her stream. So yeah, maybe you're right. Probably you're right. Hey, Daggett. And enjoy your lurk, Amethyst. Oh, and Dr. Crotron still. It's a spe it's, I feel like it's a special moment like with Dr. Crotron here. Three. Four. Five. Oop, that was almost a double. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Wait. What? No, that's not right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is twelve. Where I, I started counting really weird. I don't know what I just almost did there. This looks like we have some bleeding going. Which, as discussed, is desirable. I'm just going to anchor it on the sides here. Okie dokie. This is awkward again. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like how it's turning out, but like... I feel like the bleeding debated me. Like, I accepted it, and then it abandoned me. I accepted you for what you were! Or, like, I should have just not switched the cup or fucked with the level of the water at all. Like, at all. Clean that up. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. How I do I like say that every time I water marble and dip my nails. I have no confidence in my dip lately. I feel like just like everyone is like questionable ooh ooh we got some bleeding we got some cool bleeding on this one yeah but not so much that it looks super um, out of place with the ones that didn't get as much bleeding um, careful ooh, that was close actually Okay, get this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can work with that, yeah. Whoa. This one has the most bleeding so far. Blush thunder. <laughs> oh, did you guys hear that? That was my back. Oh, that was so good. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Gee, thanks, Doc. Gee, thanks. Thanks so much. We we missed you. <laughs> no, I did miss you.
hey midnight calico yes i i think we are definitely leaning halloween more than autumn am i right This this darkest one is my favorite. But I'm not mad at the other ones. The pinky's pretty good too. Like there's a, a lot of like interesting stuff going on there. These somehow have the least I don't know. The thumb too. The thumb did not get a ton of bleeding, but I mean it got a really good pattern, so I mean it's all good. <clears throat> This is this is true, Doctor Curtron. Are you? I mean, no pressure. Are you gonna possibly maybe be able to join us? Cause see, okay, so here's the thing. I'm thinking if we're left to our own devices, Luke and Doc, if you're not doing something with your wife, who I'm sure also misses you and is probably more important than random strangers on the internet, um, we could have a 106 with friends night. I've, uh, I need to refresh myself on some of my practice since I have not played all week. Um, but like, I, I really want to do a run with the new route. The new route saves one and a half to two minutes. I'm sitting here with the 40120. The new route in itself should carry me to my sub four. That's what should happen. Now, what's what's actually going to happen, especially if I treat it as a normal Saturday night and get adult beverages, adult beverages purchased on the advice of this very Dr. Crotron and this very Top Hat Luke, such as a mango Lagunitas. I think Dr. Crotron suggested the Lagunitas and some other kind of Sam Smith thing, which I think came recommended from both of them. yeah that's why that's why it would be fun to do it with friends because we could just tell you all about it i could tell you all about it right now if you're interested dr crotron it's all luke's fault that's the first thing you need to know <laughs> i mean somehow somehow it is all your fault luke even though you're only responsible for like a portion of it hey bro meh Luke writes the Lagunitas meh. You don't like Lagunitas? I thought it was you. I really did. I mean, the additional flavoring is probably going to be my favorite part, Luke. Because <laughs> the one I found is flavored like mango. Okay, um, oh, why did I just set this to the side as though I was done with it? We need to... Actually, let's make packages of our fingers because this is right hand and we need to be able to lift up brushes still. Let's fold it over like we're wrapping presents. Icky San Francisco. Well, like seriously, no pressure, Dr. Crotron, but I think it would be fun. To summarize the new route, um, let me think of the key points here. So... You need a little bit of early extra geo to open the crossroads stag station early. So you get the you get the geo node right before Fury and you get the geo node like right under dirt mouth right after you jump down the well. And you get most of the geo from the Aspid Arena so that you have 50 geo so that you can open the stag right when you go by it. And since you go in there to open the stag early, instead of waiting in dirt mouth to be able to sit on the bench, I've seen people just equipping Fury at that bench. I think that's probably personal preference, but it does make sense because like in dirt mouth, you have to wait. Um, then you go about your business. Then after, after Soul Tyrant, you go get fluke early and you kill things in the face with fluke a whole bunch. Um, 
And then in Green Path, you don't get the stag. You you save Quit back to Dirt Month, and that's when you go, and you you um you take the stag to no wait. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job of explaining this, am I? I forgot to talk about when we go back to the early stag that we opened. Instead of instead of like going and getting the vessel fragment like on your way out of the city, like after the moist asshole room, you just hop on the stag and store rooms and you go to Crossroads and you go to see Sally. And then after you pick up the Grim Child, you go get the storeroom Grim Child first and then you get the vessel fragment then instead. And then you dream gate back to green path and then that's all luke did i like even do 10 percent of a good job there or wesker if you're still here who the invitation wesker is also open to you it was an all right description that's probably generous luke thanks you can do that too. You could you could do runs to un while we do 106 as long as you hang out with us. Oh. Yeah, I I wish I could identify why I was not getting as much bleeding as I was before. Like am I skimping on drops? Is it really that the water level is slightly different? I mean, look at all that. Look at that fantastic amount of bleeding we were getting. Smooth gradient of bleeding. We did not get that here. Just comes across really dark on camera, but you can see we didn't get that effect. Meh. Meh. What time is it? 6.03. Well, I, I'm, I'm getting hungry here. I mean, I'm take. I am taking a dinner break as usual. We could, if I mean, for if, if we're on our own, we can set our own schedule. We don't even have to all start at the same time if we're just like running together and not like actually racing. I mean, I'm gonna have to start out with some practice because I literally have not played in a week. I have a uh, sub downstairs that I picked up earlier when I went to drop off the rental car. So that I was prepared for my dinner break instead of like wandering around like, we're moving over dinner. Um, orange stick, please come here. We're super lopsided here. Okay, so that's four. Six, eight, ten. Maybe I was just getting like bigger drops of black. I don't know. Eleven, twelve. That's so lopsided. And I have, if I'm correct in my recollection, like exactly one portion left of some really good chips. Well, exactly one portion, like it's like measured or something, but like an amount of chips that would be suitable for a single portion. This is weird. Maybe this is a thumb. And maybe we clean the cup after this because we're so fucking crooked. Oofta, oofta, boofta. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a thumb. It's woogly as well as lopsided. Woogly being an extremely technical term, of course. Why do I feel like, where's, where's the one that matches this one? I feel like this one needs to be divided, but where's its opposite side that needs to be divided? Or did I just miss it? 
you know what it's not that big of a deal let's just okay we want to put the seam on the inside corner so let's can you guys see Look like that Oh, some bleeding. Hmm. Still not like what we were getting in testing, though. Like, I'm trying to be really heavy on my drops. I mean, your, bro your body probably wants that extra, like, protein and energy just to, like, help it fight off the sickness. Go go get or have your have you a cheeseburger and a big old glass of orange juice. I I've okay you guys. I've never had five guys. They're here. I mean they they exist here. They didn't always exist here. But like it's not like I have never had them because they're not here. Should I try five guys? Yes, no. One for yes, two for no. <laughs> Obviously at a later date, not today, because as discussed, we already have today's dinner. Okay, clean, pretty beautiful, clean surface. Okay. Alright, let's just let's just get a great marble. Sometimes I think it's just that the polishes have been open so long. Like the black sticks almost every time I go to take the stem out. Six. Eight. Ten. Eleven. This feels promising. This feels super promising. Let's anchor you there. We got a good spread. We got a good anchor. It's not super lopsided. Like a little bit. We can we can handle a little bit. That's fine. Okay. 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 First half done. Then go in between. Okay, I really have high hopes for this one. Please don't disappoint me, water marble. Please, please no debate. Okay. Like we kind of got, like I want to kind of shrink that side there like that. Okay, I think we can do Okay, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Doubt. <sighs> uh, can't see it yet. Trying to wipe off the orange stick. Mm. Ooh. I like that one. That's got some nice bleeding in it. 
and a nice I like that color balance a lot it's like a lot of dark never order the large fries how large of a fries is this Cajun fries. I could tell you right now, I'd have to stay away from those. <laughs> Me and Spicy do not get along. Aw. <laughs> We're not done yet, Amethyst. You're back in time. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, do this, what hopefully is the last cup, as long as everything goes well. We haven't had any cups where it was, like, um, not not workable for something, which is kind of the nice thing about having the thumbs as a separate dip, is that if you get a cup that's like, eh, you, you know, it's not really good enough for two fingers, but usually you can still find that it's good enough for, like, to find one good spot. Six... Eight. Ten. That wasn't very much black at all. Twelve. I should have. I should have got another dip of black there. Oh well. Hindsight is twenty twenty. The fog baney. Get in your chair, man. Yeah, I hear you. Probably everybody else did too. Get in your chair, man. Get in Benny's chair. Can you can you do that for me? Come on up here. I don't like this cup. Maybe I spoke too soon. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That center drop of... Well, it wasn't the center, but the next to center drop of black was... Not ideal. Hmm. Hmm. Let's Okay. Uh go. Well, for better or for worse, that was the final tip. For better or for worse. Hopefully for better. Please. Oh no. My other fingers were stuck together. That's actually that's fine. That middle finger is not like any other finger. But it's fine. There's room. There's room for Bean. Look Look at all this room. Plenty of room, even for his fat butt. Yeah, get up here. Beanie, up. Beanie, up. He's literally... I can't quite get him. 
He's like literally right there. Also, hello, Ray. Okay, take this off. Um, I feel like I was gonna say something else. I'm such, I'm such a scatterbrain. I really am. I like how these turned out though. Like not quite, not quite what I wanted. I wanted more bleeding. But like there's a pretty, pretty decent amount on this one. This one actually, even though it doesn't have a lot of bleeding, it's actually kind of a phenomenal pattern. I like that a lot. Somehow it turned out a lot tighter than all the other ones. Like how'd that happen? I do the same amount of lines every time. I don't know. I guess I just got in a narrow part of the pattern there. Kitten picks. Heck yeah. There he is. Hi, Bainey. Hi. I'll move this. This kind of in your way. Yeah, plenty of room for Bane's. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> um, okay. Let's let's actually move this like over here. Oops. Something fell. Oh, it's okay. Um, we're going to need a couple more Q-tips, I think, to uh, start cleaning. Let's zoom you guys in a little bit. Yep. Mm. Uh -huh. <sighs> Clean up, top coat, dinner break. All right. <clears throat> Oh, you're not on camera. Let's turn you on. That'd be good. <clears throat> Once you've finished marbling all your nails, you can go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> that crash was like me trying to get my cleanup brush out, and it was apparently tangled with a bunch of other brushes. All right, let's try that again without the without the clutter clatter clitter clatter pitter patter <clears throat> once you've finished marbling all your nails you can go ahead and do cleanup any larger spots I'm just going to get with a q-tip dipped in acetone and then for the larger spots I'm going to use a small brush dipped in acetone <coughs> you guys see all this grimy residue which is kind of gross it's what you don't get with one coat black that's why I'm always like ooh so good get that underside because it's a little bit weird Move it here and here. Yeah. Um, and then the brush. <laughs> Maybe he just knows how world famous his nipples are at this point. Or his nipples by association, I guess I should say. It's not actually his nipples that are famous. merely the concept of a Barney nipple. Oopsie. Alright. So... Heck yeah. Pudding pops? I mean, it seems like almost any time would be a good time for pudding pops, even if it is after the kitchen has been cleaned amethyst. 
I used to love Puddin' Pops. Like when they actually sold them. Already made and frozen. Do they still? I don't think they do. What is everybody else having for dinner? I feel like my little sub sandwich is kind of boring. Certainly, I know you guys would expect nachos, but... There's just no longer time for nachos most Saturdays, unfortunately. I need a little bit more acetone to finish cleaning up the other hand, I do believe. Yeah, much better. Already much better. Bye, Beanie. Um. At least he didn't stand there waiting for me to burrito him in the bed again. <laughs> oh no. Well, I mean, if you kept the fridge closed like the whole time, it was probably still coolish in there I mean it's still an insulated location but I mean that's a risky move I, I will say IMO he's doing okay he's still on his medicine um cause his eye was still looking like you can see the spot that's the ulcer the injury um, but his pupils are not doing weird things and he's not, he doesn't seem to be having any problems hunting or anything, so he's fine. <laughs> you were just hungry like, ooh, food. And then almost like, hey, wait a minute. <sighs> so dirty. Definitely gonna need a hand washing to fully get rid of that residue, just cause, I don't know. As, as you wipe it up, it just like creates more residue. It just keep, gets like a fainter and fainter residue. It doesn't ever actually fully go away. More ibuprofen, yeah. Gotta take care of yourself. I mean, also, yeah, I mean, the pudding pops would be great for that cause they'll be cold too, you see. I mean, at least I'm imagining frozen pudding pops. Are there other kinds of, of pudding pops, like a non-frozen variety of pudding pops? So after we finish cleanup, ooh, thank you for the kafala midnight calico. After we finish cleanup, we'll uh, we'll do a bubble check. This is not super bubbly. Um, there are a couple, but it doesn't seem to be like too bad. We'll clean up our bubbles and then we'll top coat it. Like I, I initially, you know, I heard the voice of Dino and I did consider, I, I'm not like, you know, not even thinking about it. I did consider hollow, but I feel like that would take away a little bit from the, like the darkness of it. The like fall vibe. I mean, fall, not that there's any wrong time for hollow, but fall, if, if hollow was a season, it wouldn't be fall. <laughs> like I can think of moments, you know, spring moments, summer moments, winter moments that all could almost be like holographic as far as like the intensity and variety of color, you know, 
scintillating icicle reflections of light and you know various things but like fall fall is definitely fucking not hollow Ooh, only four hours okay that's I mean today I also learned <laughs> I would think it would last longer than that I don't know what do I know what do I know I'm just an amateur nail artist slash gamer on twitch <laughs> the top hat horse so what what do you have to do to get the top hat horse I'm assuming it's a reward for doing some crazy crazy high level thing because that's what you've been up to lately bro all right oh did I not I didn't do my undersides here see this is what I under the marble like continues you know it's like you see here and then just imagine it like continues and dips over the underside into the tips of the fingers and that's what q-tips are for I mean among many other q-tips are like <laughs> I you know what I'm having I'm having this moment of like complete uh what is the word complete indecision mm. complete indecision I'm blah, blah, blah. I probably just need to eat that also probably would help things long lovely um you ever just like refresh your following page and just like hope that somebody new will show up like magically <laughs> stream and let somebody know which locality to call 911 if if you pass out in calico <laughs> no but seriously though like be careful please after that sketchy food all right i'll send you guys over to dr swollman i'm only gonna host though not raid because i feel weird about raiding people that i don't really know um after you ate half i mean generally with food poisoning i don't think it matters the amount that you eat like if you eat it then you're just like <laughs> um so yeah it is almost exactly seven o'clock i'm gonna try to be back here in about an hour ish um yeah and luke and doc and and maybe wesker and and that type of stuff and we like i said we don't have to like all like try to be super at the same time because it's not really a race but you know that's the, that's the time i'm aiming for if you guys would like to join me i think that would be cool um kind of a little bit of a low-key stream today i'm sorry that i ended it on an irritated note with this fucking stupid incident um but i do appreciate you all hanging out with me i'm glad we got to do a little bit of water marbling for the first time in a couple months thank you so much calico i'm glad you guys enjoyed it the the point is fun the point is entertainment and i had fun and you guys i hope had fun and i hope you were entertained and that's why you hung out not just to watch the fails um you know i'm tempted to except i don't want to i already had decided i didn't want to <laughs> i'm tempted to though yeah just have that be just bling the fuck out of that and then you won't see what no what 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 no ninja that breaks my heart that breaks my fucking heart right there for you that would be like like yeah like removing like i don't even know which other one you use as much as zombie <laughs> now now you and butt spot can be friends because you agree on that <laughs> but um yeah I already did long goodbyes once. I'm going to send you guys over to Dr. Swellman. He's playing, uh, what is this game? Earthbound. Um, and yeah, I'll be back in about an hour. I hope I'll see you guys next time. Oops, I actually pushed the button. Button.
Bye, everyone. And, of course, everyone in YouTube land, I hope you enjoyed the stream as well. Yo. If you love nail art, you can subscribe.